Just wanted to show you guys uh, this thing here about these old Briggs and Stratton engines and, and Toro Sport ones. Um, most of these are pretty old and they have points. Now, uh, what that refers to is the ignition system. It uses an ancient system of a, a capacitor and a set of contacts that open and close as the as the flywheel here rotates and and they're very problematic they've they've gotten old and and they don't work anymore so what you do to remove these point systems is I've already removed this coil uh, this is a points coil you can tell it is by the wire that's attached to it that runs down in behind the flywheel so I've already cut it it's just sitting right there remove the coil cut the uh, the wire off. Leave all the guts down inside. Don't waste your time taking this off because there's no need to. Um, take this thing and throw it in the garbage. Uh, find a newer motor such as this one. Uh, this is a much newer motor or any motor really um, that's made by Briggs and Stratton in the last 15 years or so. Take the coil out and uh, bolt it on and all you'll have to do is run a kill wire from the new coil up to the carburetor. If uh, your machine has one of these tabs on it to shut it off, you don't even have to bother. Just leave that tab there, put the coil on it. It's got its own uh, built-in magnetron and it'll trigger and fire the spark plug properly for you and you won't have to muck around with points ever again. This takes a ton of guesswork out of the equation as to why these machines don't run. Um, Non-points machines, the newer ones, run great in relation to spark. Uh, it's usually a fuel problem if it doesn't run. So I'm going to grab a coil out of this machine here and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about.